Today we're looking at GCSE PE and uh, we're looking at the principles of fitness training. Uh, there's an acronym you can use to remember the principles of fitness training, which is sports. The S is specificity, the P is progression, O is overload, R reversibility and T is tedium. I have two colleagues here today, there's Matt and Daz. They're going to help me along with this bit of uh, fitness training. Matt is going to specialise in basketball. Darren's going to specialise in long distance running. So Matt, the specificity, what think would you, do you think would be specific for your basketball training? Well, whatever activity you do, you've got to try and make sure it's specific to your activity. So with me being uh, playing basketball, I'm going to make sure it's got some skill specific work in there to make it specific and any sort of actions or uh, fitness components that are specific to my activity of basketball. So I'm going to do a lot of work today using the actual basketball. Darren, long distance running, that's what you're doing. What do you think your fitness training requirements will be? Um, long distance running. Correct, you've got the fun ones. Uh, would you like to go down there, Daz? We're going to go over to Matt first and have a look at his uh, basketball specific training that he would do. Okay, so I'm going to look at doing a little bit of agility work, so quick changes of direction whilst utilising the ball, both dribbling and shooting. So I'm just going to do this a couple of times. Not Matt. That's the next bit, Matt. If you would come here, the next part of the acronym is the progression. How would you then progress this to make your fitness training improve? Obviously, the more I do it, the, the easier it's going to become for me. So to progress it, I'd have to um, increase the reps to do it more times, maybe increase uh, the intensity, so um, do it faster, uh, do it from a greater distance back. Any way I can make it a little bit harder um, throughout the weeks, so throughout the training sessions, will make it. Um, a bit harder. So we can progress it now and maybe increase the speed now. Okay. Increase the intensity. If you would uh, care to follow me now over to, to my other colleague, Darren, would you like to stop there, Darren, please, and come on in? The next part of the uh, fitness is, uh, is the overload, basically. So, Darren, how do you think you would overload your body system? You have to make your body work harder than it has done previously. So if you are long distance running, what do you think you would do? I'd have run, run a little bit quicker. Yep. Run a little bit further. Okay. Perhaps. Which perfect answers. So now I've seen you just having a jog round. That was obviously a warm up. Now I'd like to see you put in some effort, please, and overload your body system. So now we would leave Daz with it being long distance training. We would leave him now running around here for, well, for a good few minutes. So while we're going that, we'll now move over to my colleague Matthew again. I'll see Daz, keep going. So you need to overload your body system, make sure you need to go quicker, longer, increase your intensity. The next part of the sport acronym is reversibility. Now Matt, as we were saying, basically you can get detraining can start to affect if you, if you don't exercise, you don't do any of the fitness training for a long period of time. Usually that comes from, as Matt is demonstrating now, pulling a hamstring, sore knee, ankle injuries which are specific with basketball. So reversibility is a thing that you have to remember. Detraining can start with as little as, what is it, is it two weeks? Um, depending on how long it took you to get your fitness up to a level that you were happy with, it can take you uh, up to a third or even a quarter. It's different for every person, but as long as you realise that whatever training uh, benefits you gained, it takes a lot less time to lose it than it took you to gain it in the first place. So we've covered specificity, progression, overload, reversibility, which can come from losing interest in your sport, from your training or from injury. Now we're just going to go over to Daz. Would you like to come on in please, Daz? The final part of our acronym is T, which is tedium, being bored, having no interest whatsoever or losing interest in your training. How was that? Was that interesting? No. No? Why? Was it not? Were you just plodding around the sports hall, weren't you? No interest whatsoever. Tired? A little bit tired, yeah. So you've overloaded your body system, haven't you? Yeah. So we've there covered specificity, progression, overload, reversibility, and then finally tedium, making your sports fitness training interesting. Doing what Darren's done then, just running around, mundane, boring training, not very good. Keep your training interesting.